Good morning, Internet. Let's talk about some early game electrolyzers. I personally am a big fan of playing on Badlands, and I ran into the issue of not having any gold amalgam, so my electrolyzer setup kept overheating. So I came up with this kind of compact design. This is good for up to 16 duplicates before you need to expand it. Let's go over some of the simple details that makes it work with iron ore. As long as your water is below 75 degrees, just run radiant pipe. A little bit of radiant pipe cools down the oxygen, cools down your setup, everything doesn't overheat your base, doesn't overheat your pumps. Gas flow wise, we're taking the hydrogen, I don't even know why that's there. And we are running it through a bridge to feed these two generators first. Everything extra then bridges off of that and comes up here to a nice storage. By having either a vent or a high pressure vent with some water, you can pump all your extra hydrogen up into this room. So two electrolyzers, four oxygen pumps and one hydrogen pump. Uh, some places this is referred to as the half Rodriguez. What I like about it is you only need two hydrogen pumps and two batteries, some conductive wire, and a little bit of automation. And it works great, like I said, to 16 duplicates, as long as none of them are mouth breathers. But for an early base, when you can first get to an ele electrolyzer, this is an easy setup to do. It doesn't take up much room. And then with a bit of change in gas piping, you can then bring in more oxygen. To expand that to a bigger setup, I like running basically two. I've seen people who like to use a couple of transformers and a high power transformer and try to balance the power. I find that is just not necessary. You run all of your electrolyzers, your hydrogen pump, and these two middle gas pumps off of one set of generators and the other gas pumps off of the others, off of this bottom one. The reason for that is by running these two with your main setup, it keeps the pressure balanced so the system will keep running and not get stuffed up. Same idea with the gas, you just bridge it in two directions, take the overflow into your gas storage room. I toss in some radiant gas pipe just to suck up a bit more heat. This one I'm running off of a water geyser. The, because this was a cold map, the water in here is only 45 degrees. So for base cooling, you just need to keep this below 75 and all of these are iron ore and they don't overheat. I don't run my water pump off of this because I don't want to overuse the hydrogen and starve one side. And I find just having a couple of water tanks make sure that this system always has water. If it runs out of water, there's plenty of hydrogen stored in these pipes that as soon as you get water back to the electrolyzers, it starts right back up. Automation wise, one sensor for these pumps, one sensor for these three. Set them to about four and 350. That's enough to keep the gas coming out of the electrolyzer. Take all your extra hydrogen, toss it in the room. Make sure you put some pumps in there. If you can't do high pressure gas fins or oil, as long as you use water and a regular gas vent, this will work fine. So if we swap this out for a regular gas vent, and we want to have slightly less than two kilograms of water, then it will keep pumping. As long as this water is less than the pressure cutoff of the vent, 
you can store all your hydrogen in one room. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have questions, please let me know in the comments.